Hi there, uh, I'm Hippo. This is Gina. And this is our house, Maisie. Let's start the kitchen. Um, Gina wanted a big kitchen, so we have a big kitchen. Four ring hob. Um, we don't have an oven because we have, oh, it's buried somewhere under there. We have like an Omnia oven and we have these little ridge monkey type things. So we, you know, we just don't need an oven. We got our funky spice rack, which is um, definitely not straight and level, but nothing in the van ever was. So, you know, it, it's never going to be level. So. so it was in purpose? Like yeah, yeah. I mean, originally when I built it, I kind of had it up like that and said, you know, you know is, is it right there? Should it be left? Should it be right? And she was like, do you know what? Just, just drop one end. So we just left it and it looks kind of cool. Um, jam pan sink, copper taps made out of, I think they're old stopcock things and uh, my brother-in-law bent that and made the uh, the funky tap. We have shell from a bit of wood we found in a river somewhere in France and uh, and bits of bamboo things again we just we just never you know, by the side of the river where we spent our first lockdown um, and we made that. Um, what else we got? Storing things for for cooking stuff and then under here um, you've got these um, uh, oak doors. Um, we found them at an old wood yard, uh, old oak panels, um, but they were really, really green. And when I built these, I mean, we didn't do it many months ago, I don't know, a month ago, these were all beautifully tight, absolutely lovely, and it's just dried out. So when we get back, we need to um, just, I'll just move that along, get an extra little strip and just put them in just to cover them all up. Really exciting. There's bucket in a bin. So uh, if you like a bucket in a bin, what's that? Full size fridge, uh, which is. I don't want to see that, do you? It's full size. No, it's full size. It's got things that are cold. It's like kind of liters, probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We did think about compressor fridge, but really expensive. Oh, for you want anything, to even. Gas? Uh, no, it's just like domestic fridge. Okay. So yeah, it runs off the inverter over there. I can't remember how they work. Um, things that I don't touch. And then, um, yeah, again, that's that oak, because that bit was originally, that was flush, fitted beautifully in there. Now it's gained character. We got it. And then there's the uh, fun cupboard for the dogs. It's all their rubbish in there. Pallet wood, this one was. But yeah, contains, yeah, you know. What if people really do like looking in other people's cupboards? But, uh, oh yeah, and our other family. Um, so there's all those bits. And then we've got all these bits that are out, but they're, that's all glued down. That's all screwed down. Actually, that moves, I think, yeah. But, um, but loads of the ornaments that are out are kind of permanent so that we don't have to pack everything away when we go, because it's a real pain. So, you know, all these things are all glued and they're not going anywhere. Um, right, coming back here, we've got a dog. And then another little seating area. Great place to sit and nose out the back door. And then under here, if you want to move out the way, you. I've got, you see, Gina gets all that. I get this little cupboard and I have to share it with all the electrics. So yeah, I've got my tools and stuff in there. And then in here, we've got our leisure battery, which is a, what is it? It's 150 amp hour lithium, uh, which we, and sandpaper, which you, you can lick. Don't lick sandpaper. That's crazy, you got a really smooth tongue. You shouldn't lick sandpaper. Um, we, we only got it um, just before we came away because we had lead acid before, but they lasted like two years and then that was that was really it. It's DNA changing. Yeah, and that, that's just brilliant, that thing. I mean, it's um, it's never been below 50%. Yeah. How many solar panels? On the oh yeah, two, um, two solar panels. 305 watts each, so 610 total. And um, yeah, it's sometimes in the UK in the winter, if we haven't got very good weather, which, oh yeah, be every day, um, you end up turning that, you, you know, might turn the fridge off at night just to sort of, you know, give it a little bit of a chance. It's not dinner time. Um, give it a bit of a chance. But um, out here, yeah, it's, it's, it's doing fine. You know, we, it, uh, it does need topping up the following day, but um, so far. Oh, uh, inverter. Ah, oh, I should look in here. It is 
is that 1200 watt? 1200 watt, yeah. 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 So, you know, it doesn't really. The fridge is by far the biggest drawer in it, or charging a laptop, you know, that's. And you have MPVT or you have just. Yes. Yep, we do. We have a. Um... I was about to say Victron. Yeah, MPPT. So, yeah, load more storage spaces. In there is. Do you know what? I haven't opened this for a while, I can't remember. Yeah, so there's our um, uh, 4G router and uh, another control panel to tell me what's going on down there uh, in case I ever understand the numbers. Um, I need a woodcut. Yeah. This thing's nice. Oh, this. Ah, oh, yes, my, my, my attempts at carving. Um, I've done better ones, but Gina has this thing is she only likes the first ones I've done, which are generally rubbish, hence the, the strange dwarf and the. Uh, Bookshelf with, yeah, books, oddly. Um, various DVDs, radio. Um, every van needs one of these. It's an old wine box, but it's just jam packed full of incense. You, you never have too many. Back door, letterbox. We've only ever had post twice. We had post twice. So somebody posted some cheese through to us, and some kids on one of the uh, park ups kept putting notes through. So we're having little conversations with them. It's kind of fun. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose not so many have back doors. Um, then we've got toilet. Do you want to see this? One composting toilet, which is nicely hidden under there. And then curtains, which offer incredible levels of privacy. It's amazing. Um, they don't cover. Yes, more, yeah, with, with taps, yeah. One of these actually. Well, it doesn't work well, but one of those is actually works. So if, if one of those ever breaks, I've got a spare. The other one's broken. I think it's, yeah, one of these is broken. Um, and then we've got, you get, you'll see in a minute. Yeah, that's my wardrobe with various bits in there. More storage and shelves. There's our shower facilities. So they're, you know, they're fairly basic because we did have a shower, but we just, we genuinely never used it. I spent all the time plumbing it in, tested it. It all worked and everything. And then we got on the road and I just thought, you know, 10 litres of water every minute, I'm going to be through 140 litres in no time. So we never showered. So yeah, so bowl and that's it. Cupboard here with um, a massive, massive amount of sort of toiletries and general things. Again, more um, reclaimed wood. I don't know you can see in there. Oh yeah, and our dirty washing. More books, more DVDs, more wardrobe. Ta-da! Again, more reclaimed bits of wood. Nice bit of oak fan. That looked awful when I found it. It just looked like an old, I don't know, like an old fence thing. And then planed it all up and stained it. And it looks really nice. Um, and a bit of tree, another bit of oak, along with that bit of oak. And then here we have a settee with all computers and bits behind there. So uh, that works well at keeping all of that lot out of the way. And under here we have, oh, I don't know, it's kind of like an overflow cupboard of just, we're going to make these into drawers. That's one of my next projects. And then we just have I don't know, all sorts of things, gym equipment, pressure cookers, food, chocolate, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, here we had, um, uh, went from about there to about there. It was like a 1400 mil shower, toilet, brilliant all sort of all lined and everything like full wet room as i say didn't use it so you know you think right take it out put storage in you know another sofa because the thing we discovered is um you know you meet people on the road and then you all go oh, come in the van and we'll all sit and we'll have food so one couple would sit down here and the poor person who's sitting here would have to keep peering around this great big shower block to talk to someone up there so we thought you know what take it out and just make it all open plan. And it uh, it works much better, much better space, feels bigger. And then if we head up this way, everything's storage. So we have yeah, little boxes here just to sort of make it a bit easier to put your feet up. And then that's got all shoes and things in. More shoes in that one. And then they do, uh, let's pick the easiest one. They do lift out because then Behind there, more storage, That's rucksacks. So I mean, it lifts up here as well, but it's a, it, you know, it's just with all the, the throws on one thing or the other. So yeah, again, 
things that weren't used so much. Stairs, as you would imagine, more storage. Various books and art supplies. There's all my I got writing bits, instructions for machinery that you're never going to use again. It's all the kind of the rubbish is stored in there. We built this with the idea of snuggling up here and watching telly at night. And now the, the dogs own it now. So we get small sofas. We've got um, storage in here for a variety of I don't know, jumpers and things and whatever. When we travel, this one comes out and we just lift it and store it at the back because then you can you can see through to the cab. So from the cab, we can just check the dogs are okay and aren't, I don't know, misbehaving, whatever. Um, I mean, theoretically, you can crawl through, but it's, it's not at all graceful. You wouldn't want to do it in a hurry. Um, more storage up there. Um, these old sort of, I don't know, like fruit crates or something. But yeah, I mean, we, we kind of thought about doors on there, but... Yeah, you know, and although maybe it looks a bit untidy, it kind of, it's just stuff you just want to grab. You just want to grab your coat and, you know, so it, yeah, it works okay. Here is, what's in your wardrobe? Clothes held in by bungee straps. I only need it on that one, because every time we, we arrive, you just find these clothes that just be all over the floor. So, yeah. Then we've got more clothes and um, self-dispensing medicine cabinet, which is quite handy. It took a while to perfect that. Um, and then underneath there is more storage space, which is where the dog food goes. Spare dog food. Yeah, because we have to get, we carry, I don't know, we carry, I don't know, four tons of dog food, I think. There we have, yeah, oh, kilos and kilos. Up here, where the bed is, is what we call the bedroom. We got sort of a futon mattress. It's hard off messing up the bed now. So it's just like a futon, sort of a deluxe futon mattress. So it is quite comfy. And it's got this, um, I don't know if you can see it, it's got this like white mesh plastic stuff, which really does help it breathe. Really is good. Um, one thing that's a bit complicated about the bed area, because the cab, in order to get to the engine, you have to tilt the whole cab. So all of this comes out. These two panels, those gray panels lift out. There's insulation behind them. Mattress comes out. Floor is in three sections, so that all lifts out. And then there's a flap at the front. You flip that up and then you tilt the cab through. So yeah, so if anyone ever wants to do engine work on it, it's a right pain. Little table, just for the dogs, for their treats and things apparently, isn't it? Because it's your sofa. So, uh, and all held together with a toffee hammer that I found. Um, curtains with rustic curtain holder. I was set the challenge of trying to do the wiring through the tree. So I had to try and drill. I mean, originally Gina wanted it there, but I was, oh, the angle was crazy. There was no way I was gonna get drilled through. So yeah, so it drills through and it goes into this cupboard and all the wiring's in, in there for that. So we have a um, little diesel heater. The, uh, the panel and stuff is all there, hidden away in a little tobacco tin, um, which works pretty well. How many kilowatts do you have? Uh, five kilowatts. Um, to be fair, I kind of, we don't turn it on particularly low. You might put it on for a couple of hours in the evening, but because it's, it's um, what have we got? We've got uh, 50 mil uh, ecotherm all the way round. Apart from that little area of the bedroom that's 25, because we were just, I was a bit wary about height. I didn't want to, you know, so we, we sacrificed 25 mil there, but, but everywhere else is 50 mil and it's just, it's toasty warm. How many litres water do you have? 140 litre water tank. So that lasts us, Wow, eight days, 10 days if we're really a bit tight with it and sort of wash up in tiny amounts of water, then it's, it seems pretty good. Is that what the heater? Uh, yes, what I do is uh, outside, we've got like a little heating cupboard, uh, which has the diesel heater in it and then uh, LPG instant water heater. Because in a minute you're gonna go, what power is it? And I'm gonna go, I don't know. Um, so that'll tell me, I think it's a six litre one. Back door. So we've got that, and then we've got, um, I won't close it all up, but um, obviously when we run, we don't. 
and the other one just pulls across and they just bolt from the inside. What I actually did, we made frames. Yeah, so effectively, we kind of got the truck, stripped it all out so that it was that kind of thing, and then we just made wooden battens and built that sort of inside the truck. Occasionally, um, I sort of bolted the, the, the frame to the actual bit of the truck, but basically it was kind of a standalone. Independent-ish. Yeah. Because the question was like, when you drive, it should swing a bit, no? Yeah. Like, yeah, it flexes a touch. And it's not like, it's not breaking anything. No. No, I mean, uh, where you've got panels that sort of join, where the walls join the top, I originally filled those and yeah, it's cracked. So you just, I don't think anything would sort of kind of, you know, stop that. I've tried flexible, I've tried bits of rope up there, hide it. That's the easiest way to do it. But, um, but yeah, so it definitely, definitely moves. Because this door, it, it, it opens and shuts beautifully, depending on how level the ground is. If you park too skew it just, yeah, then it's a bit of a, a bit more of a problem. And then this wall is like properly insulated. Yeah, this, this again is, um, you know, so it's like nine mil ply framework, 50 mil insulation, and then another bit of nine mil ply, and then all this uh, okay. battened on the top. What are the slides? There, ah, it's <laughs> because water just pours off the top and used to run down here, in there, and then into where all the heating equipment is. So it's just to try and get it all, you know, sort of trying to get, it's like guttering. It's working. Yeah, maybe 80%. Oh, this heater is, uh, has independent diesel Yes. Yeah, because I was, I mean, I didn't, they don't really use much fuel, but I was worried that what was going to happen is I was going to be really nice and warm and not be able to move anywhere. So, so yeah. Yeah, so independent tank. It's just down behind there. And then, yeah, this is just, yeah, there's our water heater. Our second water heater. The first one broke. Yeah. Yes. Um, it broke a little bit. It used to, I don't um, because these were plastic pipes originally on the old one. And it, it started to develop this thing that what would happen is after you've used it, about 20 seconds later, it would suddenly go and fire a jet of steam, which would instantly melt all the plastic fittings. So I had to put copper on, I thought it's not good. But it lasted another, yeah, nearly a year before it one day made that same noise and just kind of exploded. So, uh, so yeah, so that's the replacement and hopefully it's gonna work. Um, all the pipes are now lagged after we discovered that they all freeze in minus six. Um, so that was a bit of a pain, um, but hopefully it's okay. But ultimately if we keep, if we only go to warm places, it should be fine. There's the LPG thing, so works good. Turkey itself, it's like Volkswagen LT, right? Yeah, Volkswagen LT cab. Engine is MAN. I think I'm not sure who the gearbox is made by. Um, somebody who doesn't want you to find gears. Um, but yeah, all the electrics and, and stuff is um, all VW, which is weird because most of it's 24 volts. So um, oh yeah, so like the headlights can't be and things. Um, that's about it. Actually, the cab's a bit. We've got to do the cab. Um, but we put these in this year, yeah, because the old seats were, they were tired. So um, these are meant for a, meant for Land Rovers. So we had to cut the frames down and sort of weld a bit on and stuff and whatever. But um, now they're quite comfy. So as you get bounced around all over the place, at least you've got a comfy seat. My brother-in-law made this. I, I made the first one out of pine and uh, I spent ages measuring it and it was all beautiful and it, it, was, it all lined up. It was all, you know, like two or three millimetre gap all the way around. And then it rained and it just went all sorts of different shapes. So uh, yeah, Rob, my brother-in-law made this. We put these bits on um, and it stays the same size all year round, which is great. And then yeah, our little uh, side steps. I said, shall we live in a lorry? And you said, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> Four months later, we drove off it, but without running water, without heating. Safer went out the door. I was like, oh, what are we doing? He's writing a book about that. Trust me. So we just drove off in the end. And luckily we had enough fuel to get back. We might explore like Turkey, Croatia. Might go Morocco. 